Hi, ISMers. Uh, this is Professor Shima, or just Shima. Uh, I just wanted to send you a quick video. Uh, I know most of you, I've met most of you. A lot of you actually don't know me yet. Uh, let's hopefully change that soon uh, in the fall when we get back together. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the Gartner rankings. Gartner is uh, basically a consulting firm, even though they don't like to be called a consulting firm. They're one of the largest consulting firms on the planet that uh, are specific to supply chain management. They employ a few thousand people and do a few billion a year in annual sales revenue. And in consulting world, uh, they're very large and they're like the Nike swoosh of uh, supply chain management. What they've done is they've decided that they're going to spend a lot of time and money researching supply chain programs. Uh, and one of the reasons for that is they want to promote the field, they want to move it forward, they want to see the field grow. So that's their incentive to doing all this and they spend a lot of time and money doing it. Uh, over the years we've been ranked by them. Uh, to give you a backdrop, I've been at Western about 22 years. When I got here we were unranked. Um, eventually we got an honorable mention and then we were actually ranked at 12 then we moved to five, then we fell to eight, then we stayed at eight, and now we've fallen to number 11. So I wanted to point some things out. One, if you look at the way these things are scored and the way they calculate these rankings, there's not much of a difference between say 11 and five or five and three or two and one. The way I look at it is you got about 20 to 25 schools that are offering a world-class education in supply chain management, and there's not much of a difference in the quality of education that the students receive. Now, having said that, we don't want to drop in the rankings. We don't want to go from 5 to 8 to 8 to 11. But the competition's thick. Schools are obsessed with this. Employers are obsessed with investing in supply chain programs so they get the best talent possible. Uh, I just want to throw out some things. Uh, a big part of the rankings is program size, number of faculty, number of students. Gardner feels like in order for the field to move forward and become more important, uh, programs have to crank out students. So if you have the best program in the world, what good does it do if you graduate one student per year? What they want is a world-class education and a program that cranks out 100, 200, 300 students a year. So size is about 20% of the evaluation process. And then also name recognition, industry value to employers like the students. Size impacts that because the more graduates you have, the more employers you have hiring students from that program. So that pumps up the rankings scores as well. So I just want to throw that out there. We're a program of uh, between three to 400 students. And in Gartner world, we're between medium and large. We're not small, we're not average, but we're not huge. Uh, all the schools that were ranked ahead of us have programs that are two to three times larger than ours. Also, they've been around longer than ours, believe it or not. And as a result of that, they have a larger alumni network and it pumps up their scores for their rankings. Now, having said all of that, those are just excuses. Moving forward, we have no intentions of dropping in the rankings. Then also keep in mind there are other rankings out there. Uh, for example, uh, Software Advice said we're top two when it comes to a supply chain management education when you take a look at the technology component of the curriculum. That's great. Uh, supply chain management world said, hey, when we ask employers where do they love recruiting from and how satisfied are they with the school's talent, Western was top two in that as well. So in essence, I feel like we're a top 10, top five program. But again, moving forward, our intention is to continue to move up in these rankings. Um, you should feel very good about <clears throat> your majoring in something where demand exceeds supply <clears throat> and you're graduating from one of the best programs on the planet. So <clears throat> all of that is serving you very well. Uh, moving forward, what do we have planned for the program? Uh, incremental steps, continuous improvement. We're going to keep doing what we're doing, but we're going to try to do it faster. Uh, the problem is uh, schools like the University of Arkansas, for example, went from 15 to 1 in two years. Two years ago, they were ranked 15th. In this past Gardner ranking, they were ranked number one. How does stuff like that happen? Uh, the University of Arkansas is located right next door to the headquarters of Walmart, Tyson Food, and J.B. Hunt. And those companies, in particular Walmart and the Walton family, have pumped enormous amounts of cash into the business college at the University of Arkansas. And the supply chain program there at Arkansas saw, saw the lion's share of that investment. So moving forward, one of the things we're going to focus on is uh, making investments in the program. That's going to be a hard thing to do moving forward because of COVID-19 implications and the fact that enrollment at Western is going down because Michigan is cranking out fewer and fewer 
high school graduates. This is going to be a problem moving forward because Michigan's high school graduation population hasn't tanked yet. Uh, we're not going to see the bottom until 2026. So during that time period, we're going to have a hard time building up enrollment at Western. And if that's the case, there are going to be revenue issues. And actually, that might impact enrollment in the ISM program. Because let's face it, if Western gets smaller, it's going to be hard for the ISM program uh, to get bigger. OK, having said that, if you know of anyone out there, a potential donor, a potential benefactor, a manager, an executive, a company, uh, we'd love to get a donor that could create a cash infusion for the program that could take us from number 11 to number five to number one in two to four years. We can do it. We could hire junior faculty. We could offer more student scholarships. We could have named professorships. We could do more executive ed. We could brand the program better with the a marketing budget, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're looking for is we want the ISM program to be named after someone, a company, a person. Uh, with that, what's required is a donation that helps build up the program short term and long term. People have asked me, okay, if I write you a check and you name the program after me, what does that number have to be on that check? And in general, that number is two point something million dollars. So if you know of anyone, if you have two million dollars lying around, if you know of anyone that does, or if you know of a company that would like to see its name attached to a top 10 program and then see that program move up in the rankings and be associated with that program and have dibs to that program more so than any other company would, let me know. You're going to be seeing some stuff moving forward about us reaching out to industry and saying, all right, it's time we invest in the ISM program. We've done a lot with very little. Long term, that's not going to work. So we're looking for a donor. So a company out there that's ready to write a check for about two million bucks pretty much solidifies our future and makes sure that we do nothing but move up in the rankings. Now, if by chance this doesn't happen, don't worry. We'll do whatever it takes. I think as current students, you want to make sure that when you graduate from the ISM program, we build the brand up and add value to the name recognition and image of your degree. I have alumni contacting me all the time saying, you know what, since I've graduated from Western in the ISM program, the brand image and reputation of the ISM program has done nothing but get better and better and better. And they say thank you because let's face it, an in industry out there, that matters. Where you went to school, the brand, reputation, and image of your degree matters. Yeah, performance is the most important thing, but at the same time, where you went in the image of that program, it has an impact. In the supply chain management world, Western's brand is really, really good. So we want to make sure that we continue to do that so that when you graduate 5, 10, 15 years down the road, you see us ranked 5, 3, 2, and ideally number 1. All right, that's it about the Gartner rankings. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Shoot me an email. And I look forward to seeing all of you. Uh, I want to meet you, talk to you, spend time with you, come to my office. Let's meet at a coffee shop. Let's go over your resume. Let's get to know each other. A study shows that uh, a key determinant of success and job satisfaction after you graduate from college is if you were engaged and empowered by a mentor. Uh, you've got ISM professors like Brett Wagner and Zach Williams and myself that want to be your mentor, want to advise, and want to uh, engage you. So. Uh, don't go through the program just going through the motions. Uh, get to know your faculty. Uh, most of our job satisfaction comes from helping you, and that goes way outside of the classroom. That should just be a fraction of what you uh, get from us as professors. All right, I will talk to all of you soon.